Did you know you can multiply using a model like this? This is a box model, also known as an area model or partial products to multiply. That's what we're going to get into today. Doodly doodle, doodly doodle, doodly doodles and digits. Area symmetry fractions too, it's all here for you. An area model is a visual strategy to multiply. We're going to break down larger numbers by place value in order to multiply a little easier. We're going to first draw a rectangle. Now let's try multiplying a number, seven times 27. We're going to put seven on the one side of the rectangle and 27 on the top, but we're going to break down 27 by place value. 20, for the tens place and then seven for the ones place. Inside this rectangle, we're going to imagine that we have a grid of seven rows and 27 columns. This can show you why we're gonna break down this rectangle the way we are. You don't have to draw a grid every single time we do partial product, but it's helpful to know that the grid is there and why we break it apart the way we do. So as you can see here, we're gonna put a vertical line in between 20 and seven. Let's take the grid away. This is probably what you're going to draw when you're doing an area model. It'll look something like this. Now let's multiply. First, we're gonna do seven times 20. Next, we're gonna do seven times seven. We're gonna then take those two products, add them together to get our final product. Great job. So why is an area model useful? Good mathematicians have many tools that they can use to solve problems. An area model allows you to multiply large numbers easily by breaking down the numbers by place value. It also gives you a great visual to show your thinking to explain to others while being precise. Instead of drawing a large array out, you can just draw this area model. Now that you know what an area model is and why it's useful, we're gonna try a few. So let's practice a few together. Let's try this problem. Six times 1,245. First, we're going to put six on the one side, and then we're gonna break up 1,245 by place value. So that'll be 1,240 and five. Okay, let's multiply. Once you get these four products, you will then add them together to get your answer. All right, now that we've tried one digit by multiple digits, let's try a two digit by two digit problem. 21 times 12. This box model will look a little different. Since both numbers have two digits, we're going to need to break both numbers down by place value. So this is what the area model will look like. We're gonna break the 21 down into 20 in the tens and one in the ones. And then we're gonna break down 12 in 10 in the tens and two in the ones. All right, now let's multiply. We're gonna go each place and multiply. 10 times 20 is 200. Two times 20 is 40. 10 times one is 10. And two times one is two. You're then going to add all of those up to get your final product. Now you know how to multiply using the box method. Have questions? Feel free to go to doodleslearning.com to learn more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all the latest ways to make math visual.